Jeb Bush might be undecided about 2016, but he's definitely ready to talk about the state of education. Here's more from John Carl's interview at the governor's annual summit hosted by the Foundation for Excellence in Education. They spoke about one of his brother's signature and controversial initiatives, No Child Left Behind. No Child Left Behind was one of the great bipartisan achievements that your brother had. I mean, there with Ted Kennedy uh, right here in Boston. George Miller and John Boehner, too. Yep. So what's, what's the legacy of No Child Left Behind? I think No Child Left Behind pushed states that refused to begin the process of reform into the arena. So now every state is on the journey, some really slow and some far more advanced. But ultimately, this is a state driven kind of enterprise. But the jump start for a lot of states that refuse to use accountability and testing and a focus on early literacy and all the things that began um, with No Child Left Behind wouldn't have happened. So it, it, I think it served a useful purpose. How bad is the current system? Well, if you measure it by outcomes, you know, if a third of uh, or 25 percent of kids pass all of the, the four segments of the ACT test, which means that they're college or career ready or college ready, and about a third or maybe, say, be generous, say 20 percent don't graduate at all, mm -hmm. that's not, that's, that's failure. How important is it to have national standards? I mean, you hear a lot of people. Well, I, I think higher standards is really the element of this that's most important. So if you dumb down the standards, everybody feels good. Little Johnny can get a piece of paper that says he's graduated from high school. But this massive remediation that's necessary to access higher education is evidence that we're not benchmarking ourselves to college readiness or to the best in the world. So higher standards matter. The commonality of them, in this case, 45 states voluntarily creating them. The common core. The common core standards in language arts and math is important because then it creates greater transparency. Curriculum is developed, uh, my guess is, in this kind of system where there's common expectations, you'll have a thousand different flowers blooming as it relates to curriculum. It won't be homogenized. It'll be diverse and, and, and alive, which is what we need and uh, there'll be a lot more innovations. But a lot of conservatives, certainly Tea Party movement, very suspicious of, of this process. Sure. I mean, Marco Rubio uh, said not long ago, it's increasingly being used by the Obama administration to turn the Department of Education into what is effectively a national school board. Based on the facts, as I know them, that's not accurate. Marco's concerned oh, about a national curriculum, and I am as well. There's a big fear you know, on the right about this massive government overreach. I totally appreciate that, but that's not what this is. This is a national imperative. It's not a federal government program, but we could just, you know, comfortably go in decline mm. if we accept the notion that only a third of our kids are college or career ready, even though we spend more per student than any country in the world, by the way. I mean, yeah, that this does is, not work. It doesn't work. So uh, standards means testing, uh, and you hear, yep. you hear a common complaint, we test too much, or right. we study to the test. Do you agree with that? Do we test too much? Um, I think we do test too much. You could have fewer tests and achieve the desired results of transparency and accountability, for sure. It's hard to fire bad teachers. It's hard to reward good teachers. This has been a complaint in education reform circles for, for, for decades. Right. Has the system gotten any better? It has. It has. Uh, in states like Florida, we've eliminated tenure for new teachers. It's clear that we have to do this, that great teachers need to be rewarded more. Bad teachers, they should get out of the classroom. And the, those in the middle, there ought to be teacher development to help them enhance their, their skills. It's hard to do that in a, in a system where collective bargaining uh, based on longevity of service for all employees in school districts, not just for teachers is the organizing principle. All right, great. Governor Bush, always great to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you very Take much. Take care. Appreciate it.